Hey guys, Island my iPhone, and today, February 16th, 2012, Apple released the OS X Mountain Lion Developer Preview 1. Uh, notice I did not say Mac OS X Mountain Lion. That's to show it's kind of more integrated with iOS and everything. It has more iOS features than um, you would think now. And it's coming this summer, and this is a sneak peek, as Apple says. Um, if it will go. So OS X Mountain Lion is the predecessor to Lion and it is actually coming out this summer. Believe it or not, within less than a year we will have 10.8 and what they're going to do now is every year they're going to update it so we'll get 10.9 in 2013 and such. So they're going to update it like they do iOS and maybe around the same or time frame if I can say it right or maybe the exact same day they'll actually upgrade both systems so you can upgrade one and upgrade the other at the same time and here in Mountain Lion we have groceries or not groceries we have reminders and then we have notes iMessage here notification center right here these are notifications here instead of popping up at the top they're gonna pop up at the right I'm sure you can make it pop up on the left corner and then oh, not what I meant to bring up we have here our iMessage with our iPhone notification center here reminders notes and then game center here and so it's cross-platform now so if you have let's say um, this racing game I have the game on my phone I just can't think of what it is uh, real racing 2 so say you have it on your phone and your Mac somebody's playing on a Mac and you want to play with them but you don't have your Mac with you right there but you have your iPhone just play on your iPhone and you can actually play with them with game center it actually makes it so you can play together cross platforms this is all inspired by the iPad reimage the Mac so we have iCloud with even more integration so it's just like the iPhone and iPad now we have messages which watch my video on that it will be up right after this one hopefully and it actually shows it and this is everywhere reminders reminders everywhere and they will actually be pulled out of the cloud and put from your Mac to your phone iPad etc hopefully maybe we'll see it on the Apple TV somehow you know watching TV and remind you um, here's our notes notes on desktop you can actually take this note here and take it and drag it off of the notes page or app and put it in the background to make it look like this. Notes everywhere. Notification Center. Great. I love Notification Center on my phone. I've had it since beta 1 of iOS 5 on my iPhone 4. And if you use two fingers and swipe to the right of your, on your, um, trackpad actually shows them sure there'll be a keyboard shortcut there notification banners right here notifications everywhere so any app you're in just swipe two fingers to the right and actually bring it up sheets or shared sheets so you can just like in the iPhone press the little plus button it's not a plus here but in Safari press the um, I wouldn't the little arrow at the top there I guess you could say just like on the iPhone and you can actually tweet it message uh, and actually on the iPhone you can't message it yet but I'm sure that will be here soon I'm running 5.1 beta 3 and I'm sure that will be here as soon just like I said and so you click that and you can actually uh, send that web page to Twitter or message it to someone and then here also you have it in photo booth and you actually have more 
you can set it to your buddy picture there, you can set it account picture, change Twitter profile picture, airdrop, Flickr, Twitter, message, email, even more. Twitter is integrated just like it is with iOS 5, which is great. I started using Twitter right when I got iOS 5, and it's just, I love it. It's great. Um, now here is Game Center. Game Center everywhere. Airplay mirroring, the biggest feature I think of all. Mirror your Mac screen onto your Apple TV without having to buy a $10 app from the App Store on the Mac. Now you can actually just airplay it right from your computer. So now here's your keynote if you have one. Here's your iMovie. And then Gatekeeper is actually a security thing which as you can see there Mac App Store and identified developers so say you want to open an app and it's not signed by the developer and it say it has like a thing of malware on it it will not actually open it unless it is signed by the developer and if it is okay so I think that's a great feature and then there are all new features for China here as it says and then messages I'll actually have a video of that next so stay tuned for that watch for that um, thanks for watching guys don't forget to comment rate subscribe I will have a video of mountain lion up once this is done downloading uh, hopefully it doesn't take two days to download and don't forget to comment rate subscribe and oh one last thing so I got a I sent a message to my dad saying if you could bring me up to the high school to play lacrosse. And he said no, I'm in calls all day and I can say okay. Thanks though. That's it for now guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and watch my video on iMessage for the Mac. And hopefully I can get OSX Mountain Lion on my Mac today. Thanks for watching.